Joining us now from St. Louis, Michael Brown's mother, Leslie McSpadden, and family attorney, Benjamin Crump, in an ABC News exclusive. We want to say good morning to you both, and thank you very much for being with us. Mr. Crump, let me ask you this. Um, what has been the reaction from the family with these results that are now known? It has been uh, very, very troubling. They answer some questions, but yet they offer many more. Uh, it confirms uh, worst fears that the witnesses were telling the truth, Robin, that her son was shot multiple times. And the most troubling is the head shot that, um, you know, it's just not justified in any way, fashion, or form to execute this child. We should note that the examiner said, and these are his uh, exact words, he was careful to say that these autopsy results by themselves do not assign blame or justify the shooting. This is one of three autopsy reports. The federal government will, will conduct one coming up. Explain the need for multiple autopsies. Well, Robin, the family wanted to make sure that they had their own independent autopsy because there was no guarantee that the federal government was going to do an autopsy. And if they were, did not do it, then we would just be left with the St. Louis law enforcement officers' autopsy. And Leslie nor Mr. Michael Brown Jr. wanted to rely on the same police department that executed her child in broad daylight. So there was the need to have an independent autopsy. And this independent autopsy showed that he was shot in his head, his eye, his arm, his hand. And it was very troubling to this family, so they had to get the truth out. Uh, Leslie, to, to hear what you are, are saying and what the preliminary results have shown. On Friday morning, we spoke with the governor of Missouri. We also spoke with the police chief of Ferguson. This was following a peaceful night, Thursday night, in Ferguson. But then on Friday, they released the name of the officer. They also, Leslie, released the, the security camera video of your son. Were you aware that they of that video and that they were going to release it at that time? No, I wasn't aware. I didn't know they were. And um, I feel like it has nothing to do with what he did to my child. Ron Johnson, who is the head of the Missouri Highway Patrol, said that he has spoken to you. Mm -hmm. We know that he spoke at the church, but has he privately talked to you and the family? Well, I did speak to him yesterday at the church. And what did he say to you, ma'am? We have um, He had a heartfelt message for me, and it was, that that could have been his son. And he was sorry. And he's like everybody else supporting and hoping and praying that this doesn't happen again. Uh, everyone shares that, that sentiment. There have been many people who are supporting you. Peaceful protests, not only there in Ferguson, but all across the country. But as you know, there has also been violence there in your hometown, um, looting and such. Right. How can peace be restored? I know that you and the family have distanced yourself from the violence because you know it takes away from the, the focus of the investigation being on your son and what happened. How can peace be restored, ma'am? Mm -hmm. With justice. And what is justice to you? being fair, arresting this man and making him accountable for his actions. We thank you very much. I know it's an extremely emotional time, especially today with the results being released. We appreciate your time this morning and Mr. Crump, thank you. Thank you both. Thank, thank you. you. And the mother asked not to be, the questions of the autopsy to be directed to her. It was, you could see how painful mm -hmm. it was for so her. So painful. When and the they're going to have a press conference yes. later this morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, Robin, thanks.